Hey guys, how's everybody doing? My name is Kelly Primark. I'm the general manager of the Jet Express. Uh, today we're splicing some dock lines. Uh, dock lines are obviously very important. Helps get our boats uh, to and from Putin Bay. Helps us tie up. Um, it holds the boats to the dock, you know, overnight and everything else. So um, what we use is uh, inch and a quarter nylon line, uh, just standard uh, dock line, braided dock line. Um, we cut our lines in um, 75 foot lengths. Uh, did that uh, actually just earlier. Uh, we seal the ends off so they don't come on frayed. Um, so here what we do is we put a loop in one end. Um, we put that over the bollards on the dock and then we tie the what's called the bitter end uh, to the boat. That's the end with no loop that looks like this. So um, what we do first here is I like to mark out um, you know where our loop's going to be. Um, you know these are obviously very big lines so uh, just kind of eyeball it. You know we like to do maybe four foot uh, loops. Uh, that way we can get our loops around just about anything we want to. So I start off by kind of making a mark on each line here with just some black electrical tape. Um, you know, this is where our lines are going to come together, uh, and this is where our loop's going to be, just kind of the point of reference. So we start off then, after we get our uh, marks on our line with the tape, we start off by undoing, actually, one of the, one of the ends here. So um, there's just some tape on here. I'm going to try to peel it off. I can't peel it off. We may have to cut it off. But... Looks like it's gonna come undone pretty easily here. Get rid of our old tape. And then uh, typically what we do when we cut our lines is we melt the ends together and this stops the lines from coming apart. Um, in this case, we make the lines, we're actually gonna have to break this, this melting here. And it just comes apart like that. Um, sometimes again, you gotta cut it apart, but um, other times it just pops apart just like that. And you can see here the lines actually is made up of, of three braids here and then these braids are actually made up of a lot of uh, little lines that are again even smaller lines so um, when they make these lines there's a big machine um, and i'm not sure exactly how many rolls there are but something you know about 100 or so um, spools and they twist them all together and that's that's what creates this this big inch and a quarter dock line um, has a very high breaking strength and is able to to hold the boats to the dock safely so then what we do is now that we got our individual uh, strands here apart, we're going to go through and actually tape our ends here. Uh, since we broke our, our melts at the end, we're going to have to go through and we're just going to have to put a couple wraps of tape on each end here. Um, and that again stops the line from fraying um, and gives the line a lot more longevity. As you can see here, you know, this one's already starting to fray a little bit. So we'll just twist that one back into place and just put a couple pieces of tape on each end here of our strands and we're actually going to put a couple pieces of tape in different places here and again that just makes it easy when we go to splice the line together um, for our loop just makes it easier to, to put everything together here so we're going to put a little black tape here and then I like to go to down maybe six to eight inches or so and we'll put a second piece of tape and again just helps keep everything together as we're working with it today it makes everything a little easier down the line strand here as we unravel it and again nothing too crazy here but we'll put a couple loops around each one and if it comes undone we just twist her back together like that all right we're just wrapping up our last piece of tape here on our smaller strands and you can see here once I get this last piece on you can see how we just went through taped up our individual strands here and all that does is help keep it together while we're working with it today um, makes it a little easier so where we go now is if you remember earlier I put this kind of arbitrary piece of black tape um, on our line and this is kind of where the where our two tapes will, will meet together here and, and this will be our loop uh, we like to make them pretty big um, there's a, a multitude of different things we tie up to on private excursions every day stuff like that so we like to make sure that we have ample line and ample loops to be able to tie up um, you know, so we're safe all the time. So really getting it started here is the, the trickiest part. Um, the idea here is we want to incorporate this braid into this braid and make it kind of one big braid here. Um, and that gives us the strength we need um, to, to, to hold the boat. Uh, so you want to get at least kind of four braids in here. Um, we'll do a lot more than that just to be safe, um, rather be safe than sorry, but, but four, four to five is kind of the minimum number here. So what we do to, to splice this line is we, we take whichever one we want to start with here, we'll start with this one, and we go to the first 
line or first strand here right past our, our tape here and what we do is we we pop open a little loop like that as you can see in there we'll have a little loop and we'll feed our other end right into there and we're going to pull that through tight and you can see that matches up with our tape lines there um, and that's going to be where we're going to start today so then we look at, at this line here and so we go there this piece here we kind of follow the braid is the next piece in the braid which is this one here so then we're going to simply go through pick open our next braid past this one we'll filter this one in here we'll get one more started here our third and final braid we'll go one more braid down push this guy through and pull him down here and a good rule of thumb here when you're splicing line is if you're doing it right and you're following the braids when you hold it up like this you'll see you'll have three strands one two three they're perfectly in line and then here's kind of where it, it's just you know you're getting a little bit of a system here you take the furthest back line you get one more braid up pull it through you can get going pretty quick here once you get kind of the you work your way down the line you can see this is just intertwining the braids uh, into the line which gives it its strength over you know just using a knot or something like that uh, this is a, a much more permanent uh, way to make a loop there's a multitude of knots you can tie in a pinch and you know if you're using a bitter end or something like that but uh, this is the appropriate way to do it you know for the for the long-term use of the, the line so every once in a while you just go through you know pull everything tight you know make sure everything's lying how it should and you can see how we're just intertwining this braid and it's kind of wrapping in into itself so we got a couple more to go here again once you get And this is nylon line, um, pretty easy stuff to work with. Uh, there's a multitude of other lines for different applications. Um, you can use like a polyester, kind of a polymer plastic line um, for maybe some long-term tie-ups and stuff like that. It, it doesn't have quite the uh, stretchability that nylon does. The nice thing about nylon is it does have some stretch. So when you're coming into the dock and, and pulling on the line, using it as a spring line, stuff like that, you have a degree of stretch, so it's not so uh, any you know sudden stops and stuff like that so we're almost to the end here we're going to put our last couple pieces here and typically you're going to have some of these ends hanging out here and that's that's perfectly normal the last piece there and then I, what i like to do i like to put it on something solid um you know this barrel here works good put it around here I just like to give it a little bit of a tug make sure everything's kind of falling how it is and when you stretch it out here you can see how the lines come together real nice at our tape marks and then the braids kind of you know filter in here um, if your braids aren't sitting too good you can put it on the floor roll it around a little bit with your foot and things will fall into fall into place but that's how you splice a line here at the jet express we'll see you on board mm -hmm.